I'm uh, at my friend's place and the AC fan won't come on when uh, they turn on the AC inside the house the uh, the compressor kicks on but the fan doesn't kick on so we're just gonna check out and see what's going on the number one thing before you work on this is that you want to remove the power so I'm just gonna remove power so as we see here there's a run start capacitor and there's a contact right there and you can look at these other two videos um, that goes in detail how I check the capacitor and the contactor. The capacitor is brand new. It looks like he replaced it or a technician replaced it and uh, he tested it out and it was good. The contactor is also good too. He already checked that out too. Um, but the fan is still not running. So now we're going to take off the top. Alright, let's crack it open. And we can see that going to a fan is this black, yellow, and two brown wires right here. The fan motor in this particular condenser unit um, has three contacts. The three contacts are terminals. The three terminals are common, run, and start. And you can see that between common and start, there's the capacitor. And on the run end, it's the black wire that goes to 120 volts AC. <clears throat> the common has two wires, has the yellow wire and has a brown wire with white stripes on it. Both of them short to each other and the start terminal has the brown wire. If I measure between common to run it's 11.5 ohms from run to start it's 30.5 ohms and if I measure between common to start is it's 42 ohms and, <clears throat> and that sequence is how I measure and determine if this fan motor has correct resistance, correct continuity inside of it. So some safety tips real quick, Bef after you turn off the power it's always good to make sure that the run start capacitor is drained out. So you want to touch common to uh, herm, make sure that's drained out, and I want to touch common to fan. So for the fan uh, we have common, we have start, and we have run connections. and. On common, the brown and the yellow are the same connect are at the same connection points according to schematic. So let's check this out. So I'm going to check yellow to brown with white stripe, which is this one. I'm going to take this out. Brown with white stripe goes to yellow right here. And that is at uh, zero ohms. So I know that's a short. Is the run position so from the black wire all the way to same point again, common right there. If I measure across them, I should get a resistance, and I'm getting. 0 0.6 ohms so at least from uh, start to I mean from run to common I have 0 0.6 ohms I'm going to write that down now I'm going to measure from common to brown so brown is a f is a start connection which is on fan right here so let's take this out so from run to start I am getting I'm getting no resistance at all it's open so that alone says that uh, this fan might be might be bad 
And of course I can always check to see if it's short to ground. I'm touching every single one of these pins. They're all open, so that's good. Well, at least we have one problem. So let's take out the fan and, and inspect it even further. So I'm inspecting the fan realize that after disconnecting it that uh, right here there are four wires this fan must have been a replacement fan and these four wires determine the direction of how uh, how it spins clockwise or counterclockwise so it looks like they once were connected at one point but uh, now they're disconnected and it looks like they got hit like broken off so I'm pretty sure is they once were connected and the fan just uh, destroyed them, like cut them off of their location. If you look right here, I want this to go clockwise. So right here says if I want this to go clockwise, by the way, clockwise is clockwise from the shaft. So I want the shaft to turn clockwise and it says Clockwise, the way to hook it up is orange to purple, and then I want to connect brown to yellow. So I hooked it up uh, counterclockwise actually, and I hooked up yellow to purple and brown to orange. Uh, so this is my temporary hookup. I use uh, uh, wire uh, nuts, um, and then I wrapped it around with electric tape. And temporarily, I just use this electric tape with a string underneath it to hold it in, in place so it doesn't hit the fan. Later on, I'm going to use zip tie. So right now, let's measure the resistance. So if I measure from uh, brown right here to black. I get 31 ohms. If I measure from black to yellow, black to yellow, from black to yellow I get 12 points. Oops, it's dropping. From black to yellow I get 11.5 ohms. So if I add 11.5 to 30, I should get around 41, 42 ohms. So right now if I measure from yellow all the way to brown, I get 42.2 ohms. So the windings all measure up correctly. So I think this fan should work now. Let's try it out. So I have all my wiring connect back together. I'm gonna plug back power. And my friend my friend's gonna go back inside the house and turn it on. And let's see if it works or not. The fan should be blowing air up this direction. And yes, it's blowing up this direction. 